Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a bit of motion sickness for everyone. So in today's video, we have one major goal, and that is to attack the Twin Guard. They are right next to us, one of their bases is here, and yes, one of their bases. Because if they are anything like they are in the other campaigns, there's going to be more than one of them. Because, you know, Twin Guard the clues kind of in the name, as a lot of people were very rapid to point out in the previous video. So hopefully we can just take this out, we can see the sort of defences they have, how their vehicles are built up, and then in the next video we can build something specifically to fight against the Twin Guard. Now if I'm remembering correctly, the Twin Guard are very heavy mech users, they have a lot of vehicles which are two or more parts to make up a single vehicle, but then they also like lasers, missiles, and shields, if I'm remembering correctly. So, let's just move all of our forces over here. Um, actually, maybe repair them first. A lot of them are very badly damaged. Uh, tank, you can just move up off to the side for a second. So let's just have a quick look-see. What's damaged? Yep, a lot of our stuff is damaged. So, mosquitoes need to be healed up. Both of the dust devils desperately need a heal. And just a few other things as well. So I'll be right back once all that's healed. I've also just now made a new missile vehicle, which is going on over to here, which means we have a little bit more protection against the lightning hoods. Which, honestly, we've been sort of just ignoring. Also, at some point, my satellite got killed over here. I don't know when. Really love having this resource zone here. However, we have loads of resources down here as well. So this tank can just go over here and get healed from this then that way it's all happening a lot faster. We're not currently at war with the Twin Guard, thankfully, so it's not like they're going to attack us for getting too close. Yeah. Unless we actually go into their territory, of course. And this is going to take a little while to fully heal, isn't it? To speed things up, I just quickly destroyed one of our Dust Devils because we really don't need two of them. We only had two of them there just for the fun of it. And what are you? Moving out. Moving out. What are you? Did I steal this at some point? Um, someone explain. Resource vehicle. Heal this thing, please. It's not very expensive, whatever it is. Okay, it's healed enough. Let's have a quick look-see. What are you? You're a vehicle? Okay, confused by this. Um... I thought you were a stationary thing, but apparently, no, your class is a vehicle. I don't know how I feel about this. For now, I'll just put you back as you were. So where is it there? Scrap, but return it into its blueprint state. And I'll just move you to the home base, because why not? Hmm, if I attack the Twin Guard, maybe I should put some defenses down here. I mean, I guess I have these here. So if they attack this land base, I can move all of my defense over here. Okay, yeah, that should be fine. Oh, now that's a problem. Look at the terrain around here. So, first thoughts, we are going to need flyers or hovercraft or something which deals better with this type of terrain. The mosquito will not even be used here because it will instantly get itself killed. The melee vehicle will not be used here because it will instantly get itself killed. The tanks will have a tough time here and may get themselves killed. Um, so, hopefully as it goes towards the enemy base, it levels out. It's hard to tell. So, our forces are along a line like this, so we're going this way, I think. Yep, that's, that's pretty awful, honestly. Our greatest enemy is the terrain itself, it seems. Uh, Doom Drone, would you mind going a bit faster, please? I still need to learn all the names of the vehicles. Please speed up, Matriarch. So, I just spawned in the tanks to have a quick look-see what it would look like, and... Yeah. There is no chance these tanks are dealing with this terrain. I feel like we're going to have one battle and then we're going to have to build something to deal with the terrain because this is going to be silly. Okay, we're basically ready. Let's get our resource craft into position nice and quickly. We've wasted a lot of time as it is. There we are. 
Now, relationships. Twin guard, where are you? Uh, you're the twin guard, right? Yes, you are. Hey, twin guard, we're at war now. Hey, twin guard, follow me. Thank you. Bye. Nope, don't go after the satellite, please. That's just really annoying. Thankfully, our satellite isn't too slow. Why are you being annoying with your rend, 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 rend? No, seriously, they have four craft called rend. Keep on moving back. We don't want any of that terrain to go in. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Let's set this up then. So, doesn't look like a particularly... Oh, they're all flyers. You know what, then? The battle wouldn't have been that bad, because we can fire at things in the air. I thought the tanks would just end up hitting the wall. So I guess this first base is all to do with aircraft. That would make sense. Mosquitoes! Let's be the nuisance you were born to be. Still want to make a new version of the Mosquito soon, since they've proven to be so weirdly good. Don't want the resource in this battle, please. It's at times like this, though, I really wish I had kept the missiles using both the slower missiles and the faster anti-air missiles because those slow missiles are going to have a really tough time hitting this target. Well, any of the targets actually. And so, it begins. There's a lot of jets. Oh wow. Are those just autocannons? Oh, I love that! Oh, that looks so cool. So I guess that's the rend then. Then there's li this little fellow who is shooting out other little fellows to try and kill us. And you're the same at the back. Wasn't there two designs though? The rends and then... What else are there? Oh, no, no, they're both the same. Okay. Those lines indicate you have missiles. So lots of missiles and really weird flyers. Go! The Mosquito Missiles have a better chance of hitting the enemy. Oh no, terrain! Not even going to watch that, not even going to watch. Okay, the Mosquito just did crippling damage to one of the Wrens. Sadly, their missiles are quite short range though. They are not made for anti-air. They're just a bit more agile, that's all. Incoming some of the missile base missiles. A lot of them missing, a couple of them actually landing though. You see, this is where we need the Scorpion tanks to come back. One Hesh shell, though, just did that. So, the Pharaoh tanks will be good here, but not great. We are missing so many shots. Thankfully, though, those autocannons won't do very much. But look how many just hit me. Being showered in the stuff. Yep, the Mosquito just... Yep, it's showing its butt. That's all it's doing. Yeah, those shells are way too slow. Oh, never mind! Direct hit! Look at that! The power of Hesh, everyone! Oh no, it isn't going down. Maybe now it is, though. <laughs> Here's the second one. It's very slow, this craft. But no, actually, it's not going down still. Is that a rend? Excellent, maybe we can steal the design- <gasps> We can steal them. Don't kill all of them, please! I won't turn off the AI, though, until the battle is more clearly won. The Doom Drone there helping out a lot. They just didn't have much firepower, honestly. Though this thing, I can learn from. Just does not want to go down. It's recalled its children. Its children are being hit in the head with missiles. A line I didn't think I would say any time, but now I have said. Okay, I would say we have won. Off. Time to do some scrapping. Is it actually going down or not? Look how slowly it is just, just descending. Um, did I just warp? Okay, that bugged out a bit. Uh, can I try that again, please, without the bug? Thank you. Can I just remove the lid? Normally the lid is more accessible, but right now it isn't. Thank you. Like the one pharaoh tank, which hasn't got the hole in it. Oh, God. Um, I am badly injured by auto cannon fire. Maybe I should leave the AI on. I didn't realize they were still fighting from the ground. No, there are some... Okay, never mind. 
come back, go back to fighting, please. Don't want to die a million times. It's not particularly fun to watch. Honestly, capturing vehicles isn't very fun to watch, but normally I do it off camera just very quickly. Yeah, also cannons do very little to armor. At least stacked armor. They have no IP value. Well, they're very low IP value. Okay, stop again. Yeah, it's these two healing each other up. That's the problem. The mothership can never be healed, but the children can. Okay, am I okay to scrap now? Good. Be right back. Hello there. I'm just going to shoot your face. Ignore me. Um, if you had an AI, which I assume you have, where would it be? Is a very good question. Because you are a very weird looking craft. Well, there's your seat. Oh, is that it at the front? Oh, that's simple. My god, it, it's in somewhere I actually expected. That's weird. I love it. This shouldn't take too long. One down. Welcome to the Legion, and you look beautiful in your new colours. Now, you two seem to be helping each other, which is a problem, so I think I need to capture one of you very quickly. Or maybe that guy instead. You are slowly killing my tank. Healer first or him? I'm going to go with the healer first. Ooh, are you one of the Wrens? Good. That's what I wanted to capture. So, if I were the AI, where would I be? So, that didn't quite go according to plan. We only ended up capturing one thing. The reason is, they all timed out, damaged in enemy territory. Which means they all just kind of died. Which is really annoying. And the reason why it took so long is it turns out the Rend has all of its AI in heavy armor. Layers of heavy armor, making it very, very difficult to steal. On the upside, though, we did get one of the motherships. So I will be repairing you, like right now, and we're going to have a quick look-see what you're made of. And here we are. So it instantly dropped something then. Not too expensive, not overly huge. Lots of repair tentacles. Well, I mean, it is a mothership, what do you expect, I suppose? Okay. Using APN. Oh! This is anti water st They're sonars! You're designed for the regular campaign, aren't you? Yes, you are. Now, that's odd. Okay, this will need some work, but I think we can use this as a base to make our next flyer. It did take quite a few hits before going down, and it is set up to be a mothership. But it wouldn't be hard to make this into something else. It does also have this cannon, which I didn't really see fire much, actually, now I think about it. I wonder what the ammo is. Also, plenty of space to make this larger if, if we want to focus on the cannon. In fact, that'll be great. Yep, I think I know what we're doing next episode. We are retrofitting this for our needs. And making it less water-based. Oh, hello. Did not notice that. Is that an attack they've sent? Or did I just go past the border? I'm not sure. I wasn't actually looking at the map at the time. Well, this could be bad. How's the terrain here? Oh, Thank you, merciful gods. It's flat. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, pharaohs, get down there, please. You, get over here somewhere. Don't want to fight them while they're still in this tile. We should be okay, though. It's just two wrens. The same, no, I don't actually know what the others are. Well, the gladiator is tiny as well. So far, the twin guard, not as... Large, as I thought. Yep, that was definitely an attack they sent. They just finished making this fleet. Okay, let's see what the enemy are this time. Oh, that's not a flyer. I could have used... Oh, I could have used the melee vehicle in this fight. Oh, I really should have. Well, look at you. You look awesome. So, missiles on the back, 
the eye is one of the missile lasers. Okay, that's cool. And the other one is you. A little bit more stocky. But still very, very cool. Hopefully our pharaohs will be quite good against the mechs. Or whatever they're called when they have tracks for legs. Yep, pharaohs all focusing on them as expected and doing a great job as always. They are healing though. Can you focus on the base? The base can't be healed. Oh, cram shot to the face. That was not good. Hopefully some of the missiles will take out the wrens. A few hits, but not too much. Are they going to hit each other? I'm not sure. They are healing each other though, so not a massive problem if they do crash. I didn't let anything reload, did I? Missile base is there at the back. For a second there, I thought they were facing the wrong way, and I was like, well, that's going to mess things up. Oh, um, he wants to fly. Someone killed the base. Look at how much I can heal. That's ridiculous. Look at the weapon coming back. Oh, my God. And there's me limiting the healing I have on my craft. Then there's this thing. <laughs> that's just so silly. We must keep on disrupting whatever's holding the mech, because that really messed up. Yes, that's it. Crush it. Crush its hopes and dreams. Uh-oh. Mosquito with the dodge, even though it only has one, um, ski left. Oh, there we go. Goodbye. Oh, AI dead. Nope, stop, 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 stop. Oh, camera. Please stop messing up. Thank you. It's that one there, isn't it? So, yeah, there's no chance I'm getting there in time. I can try. I can try. Watching the fighting while I'm running over there. The wrens are being really annoying, but because of their lack of firepower... Yeah, that thing's dead. But because of their lack of firepower, they can't really do all that much. Oh, I want that top. No, 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 please! Missiles! Oh my god, they just shredded right through it. No! I'm not allowed to capture anything I want today. So what's left? Oh, we do have the other one going still, so okay, everyone back online. Ooh, one of the mosquitoes is badly damaged, but we're, we're okay otherwise. The Ren shield is pretty good as well. In terms of survivability, they, they're doing really well, but in terms of firepower, it's just... Not really being hurt. Is that base still alive? Oh, good. Now watch it die like all the other times before I get there. By the way, I am fully aware that this makes really bad video footage when I'm just running around trying to capture things, but it's worth it for us to have a look at these vehicles later on. Hello. So, how am I going to do this? And it's mine! Yay! Okay, so the AI was like right here, so that wasn't too difficult. Um, what's left? One of the wrens? So this is what messed me up last time. So the wren has its AI completely protected. Also, it's been slowly attacking this pharaoh tank the entire time. Whoa, it's done some work whilst I've been away. So sadly, the same thing happened again. The vehicle simply died because it was in enemy territory and was damaged, or something similar to that. It may have just been too damaged, either way it was taking way too long because of how much heavy armour is around the AI. And even with maximum Stormtrooper, it just takes way too long to break through. It's almost impossible in a very short amount of time that you get. Sorry, I was being a little bit distracted there by how many things are actually damaged. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to be calling the video here, and in the next video we will be retrofitting our flyer to better suit our needs. One way I'm thinking we could use it is perhaps 
a flying fuel refinery, which will go along with our forces and constantly supply fuel, because it kind of looks like something that's built to support our craft, really. Which is understandable, considering it is indeed a mothership. And this way, I can massively lower its weight, so it can fly normally, even when not in combat. And maybe I'll still make it combat capable. Or I could just make it into a gunship. I really don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. And with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we take out the first base, and we do a bit of work. Thank you for watching. Bye.